Hey guys, my name is Victor, the operations manager here at ClicksGeek. And today we have a new Google Ads case study in the junk car removal space. But if you haven't done so yet, hit the subscribe button. We drop daily content on free Google ad trainings, as well as more case studies like this. So if you haven't hit the subscribe button, you can hit that now and let's get started. So uh, for this client, if you notice, we are spending a, a nice healthy, but we have a nice healthy budget at 300 a day. And as you can see here, we've been able to generate around 125 leads at a cost of 2425. The average cost per clicks are, you know, at a nice medium. We typically see them anywhere within this range of close to like 10 up to $19. And this campaign is performing at a very high rate of 52%. So about half the traffic that is, you know, not only seeing the ad, clicking through and submitting a form or calling, you know, the business, they're converting. So uh, that's really good, really strong campaign. Um, if you see here the last 30 days, they spent about $3,000. And if you notice here at the top, you're going to see this trend line of what we've been able to generate over the last 30 days. So, um, you know, the week of February 28th, it, it was a little low, but I think I want to say this is towards the end of the month. So that's why, you know, it's kind of getting cut off. But if you notice here, this is the first full week, March 7th, 37 leads. And then we got 27, 33 and then 25 but if you notice uh the trend line at the top it, it's going like up and down and that's something that you can expect with google ads as it works similarly to the stock market you know things are going to fluctuate and go up and down and this is solely based on the fact that people don't actively search the same thing you know every day every hour so um that's one thing you want to keep in mind with google ads so next we want to dive into the ad groups and I'll just kind of show you of what we're using behind the scenes within this campaign. So if we click through here, you're going to see a, a mix of ad groups. And if you notice, not everyone is driving, you know, the same amount of traffic. And what I mean by traffic, if you notice like clicks, impressions here, um, but over the last 30 days, like they all, you know, add up to you know this total amount of leads that you see here the 125 um so at the top if you notice uh one of the high drivers of this campaign is cash for junk cars this ad group and all the ad groups that we set up within a campaign hold uh these you know these types of keywords so they're very tight-knit so based on how we name the ad group that's will deter that is what will determine what keywords we're using inside there so Cash for junk cars will have cash for junk car keywords. Sell my junk car will hold, will hold sell my junk car keywords. We buy junk cars will hold we buy junk car keywords, uh, etc. You guys kind of get the point. So um, I don't want to bore you too much with that stuff. But uh, if you notice, we're using a target CPA bidding strategy. So um, if you see here, the target CPA is set to twenty two. Excuse me, twenty two dollars. And for that reason is because we want to give Google a buffer because at times they can spend more or less. So this is a nice medium that we're seeing within this campaign in order for us to drive, you know, the appropriate amount of lead volume uh, at the right cost. So if you notice, not everything stays too far away from it, you know, give or take uh, five to ten dollars. But um, at the same time, as you can tell over the last 30 days, like that kind of levels out to twenty four, twenty five. So uh, with that being said, some keywords are cheaper than others as well as, you know, certain times. So that's something that you have to keep in mind with Google ads is it is a live auction. So not every keyword is weighted, you know, the same cost as well as, you know, the click per market. Like it may depend, like if you're running in certain cities that have, uh, you know, a more in-depth population or a pool of, pop of, of people living there, um, that's another thing that can, you know, kind of take into effect when it comes to uh trying to get your cost per lead at you know at a decent price but if i still if i switch these columns you're going to notice here um the average cost per click so as i mentioned uh, if you notice some of these are cheaper than others this one's 12 14 10 etc um but other than that i don't want to bore you too much with the ad groups i want to show you uh what's really going on inside with the uh the keywords so uh, we can go, uh, we can start with this cash for junk cars. Um, so if you see here at the very top, we have 
uh, cash for junk cars, the exact match, sell old car for cash freeze match, uh, cash for cars, no title exact, uh, cash for junk cars, freeze match. And then this one cash for junk cars without title near me exact. And then here are the rest that, you know, we're driving in leads throughout the month. And I want to call out why we use exact match and phrase match. The the main reason why is because it just drives in the appropriate amount of, you know, lead quality or, you know, quality traffic. Um, Google does have one more match type, which is called broad. And it, it is what it, you know, what is called broad match because it brings in, um, for instance, if we were to put a cash for junk cars uh, broad match keyword in here. Yes, it would bring, you know, cash for junk cars, but it'll also bring in a flood of other keywords that we just don't want to come through. And it also makes it harder for us in terms of management. Uh, not saying that we don't add in negative keywords and do our due diligence with the campaign because there are still many variables when it comes to Google ads, but this ensures that we're having the appropriate quality traffic coming in every day, every week. Uh, and that way it leaves you knowing that, okay, you know, we're driving in high quality keywords, so we should expect, you know, higher quality leads to come in. So, uh, to some extent that's true, but over time we'll need to continue fine tuning it with negative keywords, as I mentioned. So, uh, I'll just kind of show you one more ad group. We'll go into sell my junk car. And if you see here, the, the bigger drivers are, you know, sell junk car, sell my junk car sell junk car we have sell your junk car so my junk car for cash and uh we could do this one sell junk car for cash and uh, as i mentioned before we only use primarily phrase and exact match if we need to use broad match it'll be a very rare instance if you know we're already maxed out on locations we're using a certain amount of budget and we're just not able to drive that traffic then we'll use, you know, broad match in those situations, but it's very rare. Um, other than that, phrase and exact match should, should do the job. So uh, if you like, uh, you know, the performance you see here within Google ads and you're looking for someone to run uh, a campaign just like this for you, what you can do is click the link in the description and uh, apply now. What we'll do is uh, as soon as you fill that information out, we'll contact you shortly. But we'll basically build this campaign out from scratch just for you the way you see it. Um, it'll be mimicked to the T. So it'll have the, you know, the same keywords, the same ad copy, landing page, uh, etc. And what we'll do is simply swap your business information and run it in your market. So if that's something that interests you, like I said, you can hit the link in the description and apply now. If you simply like learning on, you know, Google ads and all the ins and outs of how Google ads works, we drop free Google ads trainings every day, as well as more case studies like this. So as I mentioned earlier, hit the subscribe button and that's all I have for you guys today. So I'll see you in the next one. Take care.